up guys? Cody back with a new movie review. Going to be starting a new series. Um, not sure how many will be in this series uh, yet. Um, probably at least four to five um, at minimum, I guess. Um, this series is going to be a review on past zombie movies. Now it's going to be a wide variety of different zombie movies because there's your basic zombie movies like um, Dawn of the Dead, stuff like that, and then you got some more story-driven ones like the one I'm going to be talking about today. Now these are all going to be spoiler-free reviews. If you guys want to see spoiler-reviewed ones, then let me know in the comments and I'll do that as well. But today we're going to be starting off a little different one, as I said, not your average zombie movie. That's going to be the 2013 World War Z, um, starring everyone's favorite person, Brad Pitt. Um, as you can see here, I have it. The movie case right there to show you guys which movie I'm talking about if you don't know what it is. Um, like I said, there's going to be no spoilers in this movie, just going to be a wide discussion about the movie, um, probably a quick video. I'm going to try to keep these reviews short. Um, overall, it's an interesting movie, I guess I could say. I've watched it a few times, I just recently watched it again for this review, and I'm not a big fan of the movie. Now, not saying the movie is not good or interesting, it's just, to me personally, I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping I would. Um, it's a different take on zombies, um, and that's why I do appreciate the movie more than I enjoy it. Um, because zombie, the zombie genre, as wide as it is, one of my favorite horror genres there are. Um, but the thing about them is I like the simplicity of them. Um, you know, take any popular zombie movie, Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead, um, Night of the Living Dead, Return of the Living Dead, all those, um, they'll add little tiny extra details to them to make them theirs, but for the most part they're all the same. You got some kind of crazy toxic gas or something like that, getting into the air, getting into the water, whatever, creating zombies, boom. Um, and this is the reason I'm not a big fan on a lot of the zombie shows because I don't necessarily care about the people as much I just enjoy watching how they handle the zombies. Um, that's why I wasn't a big fan of The Walking Dead. I liked it up to a certain extent. Um, but as for a zombie thing, I did not like it. Um, and I know some people are going to hate on that. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't, I don't like... I don't think shows go well with zombies for what I like them for because you're getting more of the character, more in-depth. I don't necessarily care about that. Um, one I did enjoy, which, okay, well, just stop there. I'm not going to get into the, the big details about it. Um, I'm going to make a topic just about zombie genre in general. But back to this movie. Um, it's a different take on zombies. Um, it's a virus. They don't know where it came from. And Tom Cruise is mayor. Tom Cruise, shit. <laughs> Brad Pitt's. His main goal in this movie is to find where it originated from, see if they can figure out a cure. Um, it's definitely a lot different of a zombie virus than a lot of movies because of how quick they are. Um, it seems like they're relatively smart. Um, I don't remember, it's been about a week since I watched it, I don't quite remember if it says that they have memory or not, because you know some zombie movies, um, well, like I just watched Land of the Dead, they're, they, they kind of gain have some of the memory. I don't remember if this one says they do or not. But either way, they are smart. They're incredibly fast, and the virus is incredibly quick. Probably one of the quickest infections I've ever seen in a zombie movie. It's within Tom, or why do I keep, they're two of the same people, I feel like sometimes. Brad Pitt, um, he counts it when he first sees a zombie bite. He counts in his head how long it takes. I think it took, it's either 10 or 12 seconds. Um, so extremely quick which is how you could see that it could become a very massive extinction of humanity relatively small time. Um, but he is a ex... He works for the United Union, the uh, United Nations Union group. I don't know what you want to call it. Correct word, I don't remember. Um, like I said, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. Um, it isn't a bad movie, it's just like I said, it wasn't necessarily my thing. But I did appreciate the way they... Tr I know it's based off a book. Um, and I don't think... The, the movie's not really like the book from what I understand. Um, it's kind of completely different. But, um, you know, it was their own take on the zombie genre. And it was a 
good idea. I know they were going to do a second one and it got cancelled, and I was interested in seeing the second one. I thought that it could lead in something I might like more, just kind of get more depth with it. But anyways, um, I will say most of these characters in this movie are non... You don't really care what happens to them. Really, the, I mean, this movie is Brad Pitt. That's the only thing, and that for me, that was the only thing that kept me going in this movie was Brad Pitt, because I do love him as an actor, and the role he was, he had, he did a great job. His acting was good, the action scenes were good. Um, you believed that he was what he was supposed to be for the movie. Um, there's some plots with his family, his uh, wife and daughter. I didn't personally care about, like I said, it's just a lot of these characters... I didn't care about. Like I said, besides Brad Pitt, I didn't care about any of the other characters. Um, but he did great. The, the CGI was okay. Um, I mean, I think the biggest scene where you had the CGI was, which everyone's seen this, it's not really slow, it was the big, massive mountain of zombies they make at one point in the movie um, where they're climbing on top of each other to get over a wall. That didn't look that great, <laughs> um, but it was still a really cool scene. And definitely one of the most uh, memorable scenes of the movie. Um, and then the way the virus is fought, the way they get around the virus, I didn't agree with. I thought it was kind of odd. Um, once again, interesting idea. Um, I just, I wasn't a fan of it. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I hate to say that because I really wanted to love this movie. But honestly, I just, I, I did not care for it too much. Um, a lot of the ideas were interesting. And like I said, I appreciate them trying something different than your average, you know, Dawn of the Dead, which I love Dawn of the Dead, but it's your average generic zombie movie. They added a little bit of other, other things in it, but the big thing with that movie was you like the characters. That's what makes you made you care. You got a enough backstory. That's what that's my type of zombie movies. You get enough backstory to care about them, but to an extent you still don't care. Like if someone turns, you're not heartbroken. Um, which for some, you know, horror movies is a bad idea, and I don't like that for a lot of movies. That's what they're doing to a lot of horror movies nowadays. But for zombies, I think it works. Um, you care about the zombies, how they fight them, if they die, they die. Um, but for this one, you did care about Brad Pitt, and you wanted him to live. Like I said, his family, I didn't necessarily care. Um, I just didn't, they didn't, you know, I didn't get any emotion from them. They didn't get any emotion from me, I guess, for them. Um... And the movie ends to where it should have had a sequel. Um, I won't spoil the ending, um, but there definitely needed to be a sequel to give that movie a, a solid ending. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. So, like I said, I mean, I'll give you a brief rundown. So, Brad Pitt, great. Um, the CGI was average, I would say, for when the movie came out in 2013. Um, the scenes looked great. I will give that movie that. The scenes looked amazing. The way they were shot... The quality, it seemed real. Um, and the zombies seemed real for the most part until until they used CGI zombies, which you could obviously tell were fake. And a lot of these zombies, they had to do that because of the way they moved. Um, they were so fast, so animalistic, I guess would be the best way to put it, that a lot of them were CGI. But when you did see some that were just makeup, it looked great. Um, it definitely had a good, dark tone to it. Like, it seemed like this was really happening. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, it was a pretty long movie, too, for a zombie movie. I think it was, it was right at two hours, or over two hours. Usually zombie movies, you know, you get that good, you know, that hour and a half, you know, 90 minute runtime. Um, but this one, like I said, it had more story to it, so it needed to be a longer movie. Um, but so overall, I would give it an average rating. Um, I would go to, I'd go to a six. Six out of ten is what I would give this movie. Um, so, I mean, a little bit above average, because... As you'll see when I do this series, there are some really bad zombie movies. It's one of my favorite genres. I enjoy to watch. I will watch any zombie movie and I will enjoy it in some way. But a lot of them are terrible. Um, and that's the plus side of the horror genre, in my opinion, is there's a lot of horror movies I love, but are horrible movies. And a lot of them are in this genre of horror movies, the zombie, uh, zombie genre. So, 6 out of 10 is what I'm going to give this movie. If you haven't seen it and you do like zombies, I would give it a try. Um, like I said, it just depends on what you enjoy about the zombie movies in general. Um, but it's worth trying. Um, it is an interesting movie, and you don't even really have to like horror movies to enjoy this movie. 
I mean, there is some bloody scenes, but overall it's a good, you know, it's a decent story and it's interesting. It keeps you intrigued for most of the movie. There's a middle, little part at about the second act that, <coughs> excuse me, was kind of boring. But besides that, pretty good action, pretty, you know, stuff like that. So the next movie I'll be doing on this review or on this series is probably going to be either Zombieland or Land of the Dead. Um, I've just recently watched both those. It'll be one of those two. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what all movies I'm going to put in this series because, I mean, there are a lot of zombie movies. I think for the most part, they're going to be pretty known um, common zombie movies. I'm not really going to do any of the... Because um, there's quite a few zombie movies that are underrated that people don't know about. I'm not really going to do any of those now. I might in the near future, but this series I'm going to keep contained to some of the most common zombie movies, like I said, World War Z, um, Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead, uh, Zombie Land. I might do the original um, Night of Living Dead, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll probably do uh, Return of the Living Dead, because um, it's one of my favorite movies, as crappy as it is, I love it. Um, but that's going to be the end of this review, like I said, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. If you don't agree, let me know in the comments below why you don't agree, why you might like it more, why you might like it less than I do. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys later.